morning friends, it's Miss Susan and welcome to Early Childhood Large Group. Today our story is about a man named Peter, some hearts, some fish, and about having the courage to share the story of Jesus and how much we love him and how much he loves us to others around us. So we're going to start our story and I want you guys to have a great day and I miss you. Bye. Jesus. Yes, you can. I can believe in Jesus. Look, look, look and see, see, see how Jesus loves me. Let's sing it out strong. That was awesome. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's right. I can believe in Jesus. Let's say our verse together. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20:31. Say it with me. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. I give that two thumbs up. I'm so glad to know that Jesus loves me and wants to be my friend forever. One more time. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my Tell All the World Cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about how we can tell the whole world about Jesus. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today we are going to play I Spy to find a man named Peter. Do you see him? Get out your pretend binoculars. Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye. Peter! Peter was a fisherman. 
That means he would get in a boat and go out on a lake to catch fish. Peter believed in Jesus because Peter saw that Jesus is alive with his very own eyes. Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And he wants to be their friends forever. Then he left and went to heaven. Jesus' friends did just what he told them to do. They told everyone, everywhere, Jesus is alive. He wants to be your friend forever. One day, some men who were different than Peter came and knocked on his door. Knock with me. Ready? Knock, knock, knock. They asked Peter to come to their house and tell all their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said he would go to their house even though they were different than him. Do you see someone that Peter can tell about Jesus? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye someone Peter can tell about Jesus. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. He told them about how Jesus died and came back and is alive. He told them he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. After P Peter told the people about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too, because everyone everywhere can believe in Jesus. That's why when I ask you who can believe in Jesus, I want you to say, I can believe in Jesus. So tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Now whisper it. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Okay, let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, Thank you that Jesus loves everyone everywhere, no matter what they look like, where they live, what language they speak, or what they have done. Help us tell everyone everywhere that Jesus is alive. He loves them and he wants to be their friend forever. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next time, friends. Bye. Yeah.